In this tutorial, we're going to cover spell checking in Google Sheets. To spell check in Google Sheets, you can select an area that you want checked. For example, we know that this eTurn is not a word. So we can click on here, we can go to tools and spelling and spell check. Okay, we can see here that eTurn might be part of our incorrect answers, unknown spelling mistakes, so we might want to ignore that. And then we go on to the next error, which is a programmatically. So we do want to change that. We will click change. If there's multiple options of it, you can click on change all. But in this case, there's only one. So we'll click change. Another error has occurred. So we've got examine needs to be changed here. We can change this one. And then we've got steeping. But you've probably noticed that this weird word here, clamp size and wasn't selected. Well, one thing that could be occurring is that it's a capitalized letter. So the search algorithm is thinking, okay, this is a name, so it's ignoring it. So we've got steeping here as a word. Let's uh, change this to steeping, as in steeping a pot of tea. And then you would expect that the tongues flawn word that I created would also be flagged as well, but it's not. So why is this occurring? Well, I'm not entirely sure, but I suspect that it's probably not something that could be easily searched as a possible other word in the Google Sheets dictionary. So it's not flagging it. I'm not sure why this is a, is a case, but it is something you have to look out for in Google Sheets. It may be because that in a Google Sheet, there are different references and references can be a hodgepodge of all different words or word jumble. And it doesn't want to go through each one of those and cross check it against a suggested answer. So it's trying to help you out. So it is something to look out for. Another spelling mistake you might have noticed is here with the word hangry. Although it's popular in our current vernacular, it's not in the dictionary. So I've added it to my personal dictionary. To do this, we can go to tools, spelling, personal dictionary, and you can add a new word. As you can see here, I've added hangry there. Uh, once you add it in, you click OK and it's done. Another thing to watch out for too is for things like uh, uh, UK and American spelling. So I'm from Australia, so I use the uh, British spelling or the Commonwealth spelling of words. So color, C-O-L-O-U-R, but in the US it's C-L-O-R. Now I have set my Google Sheets up to have UK spelling. However, it will not flag this C-O-L-O-R. So let's have a look at tools spelling. And if we hit bell check, it's saying no spelling suggestions because there's nothing in this area. If we search all sheets, any occurrence of it is not going to be there either. So no spelling suggestions. Now, if you do hit ignore on items, they will be ignored for every other instance you try and do the spell check. This can be a bit of a problem too, but one thing you can do, so let me just drag our screen down a bit to here. One thing you can do is click on this visit sites and go to cookies. And you can delete out this docs Google cookies. So we're going to hit here and go remove. So this is just the, the cached memory of all the information that Google Sheets put, puts onto your uh, Chrome browser on your PC. So we'll hit remove and hit done. And hopefully now if I hit refresh, you may not even have to refresh this. And I'll go back up. So, and I'll go back up so you can see the full screen. Now when we do a spell check, Hopefully, we should have, there we go, Eastern again. We ignored that previously, and there it is back. So that's one way to resolve that ignored issue, that it's, it's trying to help you out by saving it so you don't have to go through it again. But if you need it back, go up to the top and clear out the cookies for that. So as you can see, Google Sheets spell check is not the perfect spell check solution for you. And if you have any complex uh, wording or sentences or paragraphs that you need, to have spell checked, it's probably advisable to get them done in, in another platform like Google Docs before you put them onto your sheet. That's it for Google Sheets spell check. I'll see you in the next tutorial.